King Charles III is showing the public that he feels his health is moving in a positive direction by increasing his workload and appearances, a British news program has heard, after the 75-year-old monarch was diagnosed with cancer earlier this year. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Buckingham Palace announced on February 5 that after a routine procedure to treat an enlarged prostate, doctors had found evidence of cancer and that the king would undergo treatment that would require him to reduce his appearances and work commitments. The palace made efforts to reassure the public that the king would continue his duties as head of state despite his health condition. As a result, Charles has become noticeably less visible, with his nationwide engagement tours, estimated at more than 400 in 2023, being significantly reduced to avoid large crowds while his immune system is understood to be compromised during treatment. However, in recent weeks, the king appears to be sending positive signals that he feels able to regain his more typical appearance. It comes as the royal family faced a second major health crisis in March, with the announcement that Princess Kate was also undergoing treatment for cancer. He continues to do more and more work which I think is a great sign, Jack Royston, Newsweek's chief royal correspondent, told Sky News presenter Kay Burley on Wednesday. He is really showing us, through his actions, that he believes he is on the mend and improving and that his prognosis is good. Newsweek has contacted Buckingham Palace via email for comment. Royston's comments follow Charles' decision to attend the traditional Royal Easter Mass at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on March 31. The King's presence was usually expected, although this year it remained uncertain until the day approached. To celebrate Mass, Charles attended alongside Queen Camilla, who had increased her private engagements while her husband, was ill to make up for some of the lost workload. Charles surprised well-wishers and press waiting outside the church by approaching them for an unannounced tour and meet and greet. This was the first time that the king interacted with the public in this way since before he announced that he had cancer. Speaking about the gesture, Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine and royal biographer, previously told Newsweek, King Charles enjoys mingling with people wherever they are. His meet and greet is part of his definition of being a king. Defender of the faith, this will be especially poignant at Easter. King Charles